Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a pioneer R&B neo soul singer, songwriter, television star, you name it, she's done it all, who's been gracing us with her amazing gift for over four decades. Now she's here to share her stories of love, pain, and discovery with her eighth studio project release titled Full Circle. Yes. Please welcome my friend, the legendary Edgy Stay. Niggas was an eight. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now, Come on Angie. Now, Angie. <laughs> sexy. Don't hurt him. Hello, pretty lady. That's how you feeling this early in the morning? Yeah. That's how she doing the people. <laughs> you look so amazing. Yes. Look at you. Thank you. Yes. So do you guys. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Uh, okay. Oh, so, Ange, oh. you've been in this game this for 879,000 years. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you are just a living legend. And you have thank so you. many different accolades. So, how do you define? your success? Well, you know what? I think hard work, uh, loyalty to oneself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is key, and uh, making myself my greatest competition. Uh, one of the things that I pride myself on is I try to compete with Angie. Mm -hmm. I, can I do another brother, no more rain? I can't duplicate those, but I can come as close to possible. Mm, right. My, my, my gift is to be the voice of everyone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Angie, you have had incredible staying power. Mm -hmm. Incredible staying power. Um, you have gone through so much in this industry mm -hmm. and just bounced back. I told you, that, and when we was coming to the chat, <laughs> the devil, ain't, he don't stand a chance with you, okay? <laughs> he don't stand a chance. So what, what do you attribute to your staying power? And, and not just in music, but you have done it all. You know, uh, you've done radio, you've done television. What is some of the advice that you would give the younger generation today about staying power and longevity? Well, the one thing I never wanted to get caught up with was being with, you know, when you see the Temptations and you see the Four Tops, they still got the same suits on, right. the same, <laughs> they're still rocking that one same song. Mm -hmm. What acting and producing, all that has been a journey for me and a segue in and out. I found myself at Arista Records when they were sitting me on the shelf for two years. Oh. I got something for y'all. I'm going to do TV because mm -hmm. I would not allow grass to grow under my feet. Mm -hmm. Right. Because entertainment is not one facet. Right. Yeah, okay. That's right. Okay. So uh, I kind of moved, bobbed and weaved, and I made sure to stay relevant. Yes. And in doing that, it was reinventing myself mm -hmm. over and over. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. So now you're doing your eighth studio album. Yes. And I've heard bits and pieces of it, and I absolutely love and adore it. Dinosaur's one of my thank favorites. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now it's, this one's entitled uh, Full Circle. Mm -hmm. So how did you come up with that title? And why are you, why are you so passionate about this particular album? Well, you know what? Every album that I've ever done, I feel like the title kind of defines where I am in my life. Right. I feel like after 40 years in this game, what can I do different? Not a whole lot. So what I wanted to do was mirror the mahogany soul vibe. Mm -hmm. And what I did is this is full circle. This is going, what goes around comes back around. So if I did it once, I could do it again. It's not closure. What it is is showing that you are in charge of your destiny. Yes, and full circle is saying, I did this for four decades. Right. And I'm comes oh, around. Yeah. Comes song. Up, Hello, yeah, that's a, that's things you do come oh, back to you. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 I love that song. You can't play with the people. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you gotta do right. <laughs> uh, now, um, being a mother in our industry mm -hmm. yes. is extremely tough. Um, it's being a mother period is tough, yes. but being a mother in the biz, in the music business, the entertainment industry is tough. And you had some public drama with with your daughter Diamond. Mm -hmm. We want to know how is that relationship progressing? Have you guys mended that? And oh, that's my daughter. Yes. And 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 what you guys saw, the public saw. They only amplified it because it was connected to a celebrity status. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. Trust me, the only mm -hmm. one that goes through issues with their children. Mm -hmm. Because when you have adults and, and you know, even young teenagers, mm -hmm. when they're finding out who they are, they combat the people that they love the most. Mm -hmm. Especially when 
they are spoiled mm. rotten. And as entertainers, we, we tend to spoil our children. Yeah. We do that, we enable them because we're making up for time that, that we we've lost, love. we did not yes. have. And as a result, my daughter got, you know, gangster with me a little bit and I had to, <laughs> she got voice you know. in the voice. <laughs> Yeah, but I love school. my daughter. My daughter oh, is a right. brainiac. She's very talented. She's very talented. Um, she's just, she's a younger version of me. They used to call me Tiger Brown in school. I know that's, that's right. right. They show no oh, deal. okay. We, we, we got to get more with Angie. So thank yes. you for coming and thank you for joining us so yes. much. Guys, guess what? You got to check out her album, Full Circle. If it's available, no, it's, not, it's, it's available everywhere. And if everywhere. you're staying with mm -hmm. us for the full hour, Angie joins us at the table. And the conversation continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media. Media. Platforms. <laughs> Boom. Thank you very much. All right. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Of course, we couldn't let our good friend Angie Stone go, so we invited her to the table. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Been in on the conversation. <laughs> We're really, really excited. And I know, Celine, you had a follow-up to something over there. Yeah. Yes, because she made a good point about these kids being spoiled down to the end. <laughs> yes. uh -uh, go yes. ahead. Go ahead. And so... <laughs> So you, but you have a son with D'Angelo, yes. and so he got two parents spoiling him. Yes. How has it been co-parenting with another big star like that? You're a big well, star, it, he's a big star. How do you manage that? It's a very tough call to make because he he's a million miles away uh, doing his thing, mm -hmm. and my son is still growing, and as a, as a nurturer, as a mother, we don't have the... Uh, comfort of just always separating. Mm -hmm. So it I am a single parent, mm -hmm. but we father we, we we mother and father a child, but the the stretch from being entertainers and being first hand, on hand all the time is very difficult. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. But my son is twenty two now. Okay. Yeah, what yes, is I man? got him there. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Most women that's what we doing. How about mm -hmm. it? How about it? So okay, well let's get on down into what's going on in the industry, Angie. So Little Nas X, uh, Old Town Road, it broke it broke records. Mm -hmm. I think it's still down to the charts. Yeah, yes, it is. Yes. And now what are your thoughts on, you know, because we come from a, a, a place of working records and then they break. Mm -hmm. Right. What are you, what are your thoughts on this overnight success that is seeming to happen with just everybody? Well, or anybody rather. You know, that's a great question. And the reason I'm glad we're talking about it is because we had to pay dues. Yeah, we, we had did. to work hard. Mm -hmm. And like life is changing, like computer age has evolved. We. Uh, as musicians have paved the way mm -hmm. to make this generation move a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. You know, ATMs are here now. Mm -hmm. You, you got to look at the progression of life in yeah. general. Yeah. So I think that because we did the groundwork, mm -hmm. they should never call us sellouts. Yeah. They should always yeah. credit us and thank us. Like, we have to thank the Marvin Gaye's, the Aretha Franklin's. Right. The yes. Glass. We have to look up to these people who made it possible right. for right. us to do it. So the overnight success, I don't think it's been overnight. I think it's been, I can think back to four decades ago and they're just trying to get it to the next level without taking all the time. Mm -hmm. Do I think it's fair? Absolutely not. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just the way it is. Right. And then you know, we're, we're staying in the in the industry. You know, uh, a, a lot of artists, of course, are going to talk and, and speak out about things. Daniel Caesar, who's actually one of my favorite artists, yeah. spoke out uh, against one of his friends saying she's not racist and black people are sensitive. But where do we separate the art and the artistry, the person who they are from their artistry? Or do we do that? I, I think that what we need to stop doing is being judgmental because yes. we're all human mm -hmm. and we all make mistakes. There's no one walking in a perfect mm -hmm. light. And as a result, we use those as scapegoats to mm -hmm. do, you know, mean things to people. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. he's entitled to an opinion. Mm -hmm. It's just like every one of us, we're entitled. Look, I've said some things that they don't like, but mm -hmm. it doesn't make me any less of a person. Mm -hmm. Right, so, right. And it does not degrade my gift yeah. at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Daniel Caesar is a star he and really he has is. his, you know, his, he has a right to have his opinion. Yeah, exactly. Well, and speaking of opinion. Yes. Yeah. Beyonce. Yes. Now, Beehives, I'm not saying anything bad about Beyonce. <laughs> you better get it straight. So, <laughs> Beyonce, she she remade Before I Let Go, Frankie mm -hmm. Beverly and Maze. And of course, uh, Funk You Up <laughs> has been remade. Yeah. So, how, what do you feel about these new groups coming in and remaking these old songs and not necessarily giving credit where credit is due? You know, that's a touchy subject for me. Touch I did on it, no more touch rain on it. in this cloud, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which was a derivative of neither one of us. Mm -hmm. It was one of my biggest hits to date. But what I did was I paid it for it. I gave every ounce of credit to the original people, so I got no 
coins mm -hmm. from that. So oh, wow. that was my oh, way it. of paying it forward. So I don't think Frankie Beverly is mad at Beyonce right now. Right. No, right. So I'm looking at the benefit mm -hmm. of Beyonce doing a song that can allow Frankie Beverly, if he chooses to, re to, to re retire. Yes. Mm. And a new generation yeah. can hear his music. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I mean, Mary J. Blige did yes. sweet thing. Let's yeah. think about it now. She did. That's true. That's it true. gave some longevity to Definitely. who Shaka is, and she's still around. Right. Absolutely. 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 Everybody has to like it, though. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about... Um, <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, you don't like it? Mm -hmm. Wait, which song you don't know? Uh, the, the, the Beyonce Beverly, makeup. Beverly. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> but do you like the song? I, I like the, the original song. amazing. Yeah. I love the song. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's just me. I, I'm, you, like you said, I, I, we have a right to my, our opinion. Mm -hmm. Right. Come yeah, on, I, like I said out loud, it's fine. I, I think she's an incredible artist. Mm -hmm. I just don't like that that particular the song is touched. Yeah. I got oh. you, the version. Yeah. You know, a lot right, of people said up. that about neither one of us. They didn't like that touch. But see, when you do a classic, you got to make a classic. Uh, even better. Class. Yeah, but yeah. neither one of us. Well, yeah. I mean, um, uh, sunshine and no, no more sunshine. No more rain. That, in no this more cloud. rain in this cloud. Mm -hmm. That didn't have nothing to do, kind of, sorta. Like you took it and flipped it they and made it a whole new, new record. Yeah. See what I'm trying to you tell you? You feel me? There, you that gotta was, make a classic. No more rain in this cloud was a jam. <laughs> you know, yeah. and so it was neither one of us. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like when you found out, like people when they found out it was neither one of us, like oh. Yeah, you know, yeah. it wasn't the exact song right. over, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Not, not to say I don't like, I don't, I don't not like it, but well, I'm just what saying. What about Layla Hathaway doing Sweet Love, Nita Baker? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I loved it. I think it's all about Ooh, perspective she and, and, on and, that and sweet like, love. yeah, <laughs> and what you like musically. And I just, you know, that was just that's just my opinion. Got you. Mm -hmm. right. That's a big well, staple. Though. Let's just stay on an arena of opinions. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So, Angie, uh, recently we learned that uh, MTV's Most Honored Status uh, Award, which was named after Michael Jackson, the uh, Michael Jackson Vanguard Award, executives are thinking that they're now wanting to pull the name, pull his name from that award because of uh, Leaving Never Neverland documentary that aired on uh, HBO. What do you make of this? The man is paid for every Everybody. Come on, honey. thing. Uh, in life, he is no longer here. So to extract that from his legacy, mm -hmm. in my opinion, is ridiculous. It's mm -hmm. awful. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I agree. He's given that. too much to the art form. He has uh, been one of the greatest entertainers of all time. Mm -hmm. Why take it from him? And to have his family and his children, you know, Shame. have to deal with that based mm -hmm. on something that he can't address himself. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He can't address it, so. Well, it just still doesn't take away who he is. He's iconic, exactly. and that's exactly. why this this very award, is, um, it's for people who supersede the performance as, uh, as an but artist. he's done that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he's yeah. done that, exactly. Done that. So, yes. yeah. So and still no one's been able to, to measure. Oh, right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 We gotta go here. But tell, tell us about this full circle. Tell us uh, about that him. I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm only bringing this for front because Vinyl is never made anymore. Yes, that's oh, like, yeah. it, it, it's talking about vinyl. moving forward and why things are the way they are. But what I did was a collector's item mm -hmm. for the Ooh. people that never heard of albums. Oh, that's <gasps> wow. Yes. That's so beautiful. That's old school 33. That's, that's real old look, school. Look, this is a collector's <laughs> item because I want people to remember this is where it all came yes. from. And that, and that I have sound. CDs, yes. and uh, if you want to get the Angie Stone mm -hmm. album, that's what it looks like. If you want to get the CD, iTunes, Apple Music, I mean, Google Play, yeah. all of that is where it's at. I love that. That's that is great. gorgeous. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I played records when I was a, 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 a college DJ. Mm -hmm. No, I played oh, in college. school. Yeah. Well, back in the day, as, well, not even back in the day, some DJs still, still use play with vinyl. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Well, Angie, thank you so much. Thank You're you. amazing. Thank you. Yes, you do your thing all the time. We That's love okay. having you here. Be sure to check out her album, Full Circle. It's available everywhere. Give it up for the one and only Angie Stone. Yeah.